Hello from Mexico. If you're new here, my name is Maddie. I've been living and traveling all over Mexico for almost five years now. Recently, I've been living in Guadalajara for five months and I realized it's just not the right city for me. So the hunt continues for my new long-term home base. Also, new development in my journey. I think I might wanna buy a house soon. So today I'm here in Ajijic at Lake Chapala looking at some properties and I'm taking you with me. Let's go. A quick disclaimer. The prices in the Ajijic real estate market are well above averages throughout the country. For this reason, the house I'm about to show you is the only one within my budget. The rest I'm viewing to get an idea of what other houses are available at higher price points in Ajijic. And this is Ajijic only, not other areas like Chapala or San Juan Cosala. This home that I'm gonna be looking at is by far the cheapest of all of them today at 139,000 US dollars for a two bed, two bath. And Juan Diego really moved heaven and earth to be able to find one this cheap because they are few and far between in Ajijic, especially in the neighborhood called La Floresta, which is a very highly sought after desirable neighborhood because it's so quiet, wide streets, lots of trees. So let me show you this place. First impressions, love it. It's so charming. You've got up here, a beautiful boveda ceiling. We've got a little fireplace here. This one does come furnished. So when you buy this place, you get all the furniture that's that's here. We've got the dining room. And I love how it's kind of this angular window situation. Between all of these rooms, you've got arches with bricks on them. In the dining room as well, you've got this boveda ceiling. So pretty. This is the most adorable kitchen. You have a what maybe would fit two bar stools here. And this, this is it, this is your kitchen. I love though, you see these tiles. Since this place was built in 1970, these probably do not exist anymore. You probably cannot go out and buy them, which makes it such a, a charming feature of this home. I love that. And again, so you've got this window with its nice little arch, fridge. Um, here's where you have some more storage. And it's got a washer and dryer. This may be the oldest washer I've ever seen. The, the lid of it is so tiny, but hey, I will take a washer and dryer where I can get it. I miss doing my own clothes, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so like I said, it's got two bedrooms, so we'll go into this one here. And they've got a, mm, I can't tell if this is a single size bed or a full. It's a little bigger than a single. So um, nice space here. These are kind of those arched style brick ceilings got a window for natural light. Something I don't particularly love is that you can't open this completely. It's got these like slit, uh, this the slit style, which I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but those usually just go up and down uh, to open and close for airflow. Thankfully there is a mosquito net. I noticed in here, this is the closet for this room. However, I would have to install something, some type of closet shelving units or something to store clothes if this was my bedroom. So now let's go uh, past here is the hall bathroom, which the entire thing is tiled. It's so, I mean, I actually, I don't know what these tiles are. It doesn't really fit the vibe of the rest of the place, but the whole bathroom, can you tell this? Like every wall, the floor, everything is tiled with these, with these style tiles, tile style. And then up here, we've got some airflow with those same type of slit windows. Then we'll go outside here. This is now the second bedroom, what I would call the master bedroom. It's got even higher vaulted ceilings. A This is definitely a queen size bed or a full. Uh, and a TV desk situation here. This is where you can see out to the patio and I'll show you that later then. We go through a walk-through closet. I don't know, do you call this a walk-in closet or walk-through, but you see on both sides here. And then it also has a bathtub! Oh my gosh, such a rare feature. I've said this a million times in videos, but bathtubs are so rare and I miss them. It's a luxury that I truly did not appreciate as much as I could have when I was in the US. Also, check out the shape of this. It's kind of like a... Long hexagon, pretty cool. Lots of counter space here. You got, you know, pretty standard toilet. But I am in love with this place. I think it's so charming and so cute and the price, how can you beat that price? 139,000 US dollars. And let's see what the, the the deets are of this place. So the property itself is 84.62 square meters. 
and it does come with um, all the appliances, all the furniture, like I said, and it's part of a kind of little, kind of reminds me of a townhouse community because they're not apartments, they're all these little houses. So if we come out here. So there's a house, and this is a house. Um, over here is another house. Very quiet back here. And like I said, I was gonna show you, this is the entrance here. So you could probably put, you know, like little table and chairs, some plants. I mean, Maybe I should put an offering on this place. I really like it. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that subscribe button. I post new videos about my life and traveling in Mexico every single week. By the way, I'm here with Juan Diego. This is the real estate agent that's helping me out, but also a longtime friend. We met back in 2018 at your goat farm, yep. your organic goat farm. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you guys? So thank you so much for helping me out today because I would not be able to have seen any of these properties on my own probably would have been so much more complicated so thank you for lending your expertise and your time i uh, really appreciate it it's really my pleasure thank you thank you i will leave juan diego's information down in the, the description if you're looking to buy a property here in ajijic he can definitely help you out so this home that i'm looking at is located in the san antonio neighborhood and we're looking at a house that is 310,000 us dollars so let me give you a tour around i did take a peek before we came in here and i love this house so it's two levels, three if you include the mirador. Where we're standing right now is the kitchen, dining room, and living room area. By the way, this one is not furnished. They just have this set up so you can kind of get a feel for what it could look like. Out here, you've got a nice like terrace, backyard area, so you get the fresh air. You can tell this place has great airflow because on pretty much every side of the house, you have windows that open and stuff. It does include the refrigerator, dishwasher, kind of a rare feature in Mexico, stove, and washer and dryer. So you've got your washroom right here. I do really love the wood that they chose for these cabinets and the countertops. It looks all really high class and sleek. Even the appliances look very high quality whirlpool. Then if we go this way, we've got a hall bathroom for guests. And then we enter the master bedroom here, which is on the lower floor, which also has access to this backyard and patio area. We have a massive walk-in closet with, again, these really high quality looking cabinets and drawers, storage here, storage above. And it also has its own private bathroom with two sinks, tons of storage. I really do love that. And you've got your shower area in here. So like I said, light coming in from everywhere. I really love that. You get your nice fresh air and they've got mosquito nets. So now let's go upstairs. So from here, you can actually see down to this living room area and these incredibly vaulted ceilings. Then you have bedroom number two with its own closet storage. It also has its own patio. And then let's go to the third bedroom. Oh, and a hall bathroom. So this bedroom and the one I'm about to show you both share this. So bedroom number three a little bit bigger than the one I just showed you. Also, ceiling fans in all the rooms. Again, with the closet storage and its own balcony. So this looks down to that courtyard, garden, yard area. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a house where every room basically gets its own outdoor space. I love that, but honestly, I think we did save the best for last. So we're gonna go up a second set of stairs here. Dun, 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 dun. The Mirador. So looking out here, you have a gorgeous view of the lake, like almost a 180 view, which is not obstructed by this other complex here. This one is not part of this community. And then on the other side, you're able to see these beautiful mountains which right now we're in the rainy season. So they are nice and lush and green 
and gorgeous. So at 310,000 US dollars, this is out of my budget, but I would be lying if I didn't say I was in love with this house. The architecture, the layout, the flow, the chi, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So uh, my big question here is, uh, how much do like kidneys go for these days like on the black market? Like just, just like, just curious. I mean, just asking for a friend, you know? <laughs> I also want to mention with this house that it is 2,600 square feet. It was built last year in 2021 and it has a monthly maintenance fee of only 15 US dollars, so really not that much. The yearly property taxes are going to be around 35 US dollars, also not much. So there are six units in this entire little community, which I love. It's not too many. It's not too overwhelming. You're not bumping up with a bunch of neighbors. And so I do have access to another one that they just completed with, look at this up here, this gorgeous Boveda ceiling. So it's also super vaulted, but this is a very classic Mexican feature, especially here in Ajijic. Um, and Juan Diego, he said, as you get closer to the streets, they get bigger. So this one has a window here. The kitchen is bigger. Um, and also the bathroom that was underneath the stairs is right here. So then where that other bathroom was, you have storage space or you know maybe you turn this into an office or something oh man you guys seriously um what about a liver i don't need all of my liver either can i sell that on the black market would that help me afford one of these houses eh? Eh? <laughs> they're still building i believe two more houses over there and this is the showroom house that i just showed you so you can see up on all of these that's the mirador that we were looking out up at the lake they all have that lovely feature this next house i'm looking at is located in west ajijic this one is a two bedroom two bathroom for two hundred and ninety five thousand dollars this one it has where i'm standing right now a pretty large backyard that actually wraps around the house and so I'm gonna be taking us in the back, the back way, not the front door. I'm gonna avoid this bee that's now following me. <laughs> so like I said, walking in the back way, but then we come to what I believe would be considered the master bedroom. You've got windows on two sides of it, and then it has a bathroom that connects. So you've got the, nope, wait, is there not a toilet? Oh, there's the toilet, the toilet right here, the sink area, a shower, and a bathtub oh my gosh continuing on off of this bedroom you've got some storage space but also the laundry room and a toilet in case you really have to go while you're doing your laundry <laughs> walking out here this way is the dining room the living room which as you can see out here uh, the garden area that wraps around to this little outdoor patio area Another view of the living room and look at this gorgeous what I thought was a painting it's actually a mural painted right onto the wall come into the kitchen here lots of counter space you've got a bar you could put some bar stools tons of cabinets and given how spacious this entire kitchen is I don't know if you can possibly tell but it would very easily fit an island here or something which would be great to kind of add flow while cooking um, and I forgot to mention up to this point, but this place is furnished. So all the furniture that you see would come with the house. So then let's go upstairs. Here's upstairs. This space, I think I would do something else with. I mean, it's a lot of open space with just furniture staring at itself. <laughs> I do love how you've got tons of natural light coming in here and these brick arch ceilings. That's really pretty. Coming out here is this huge terrace, or mirador, which has an amazing view of the mountains. Oh, from here, you can also look down and see your neighbors. There's nothing here. Um, this looks like a little farm. They've got a bunch of chickens. Of course, I am in love with the fact that it has an entire wraparound yard that I could do gardening here and plant food and grow herbs and stuff like that. But I also love that you have this space up here where you can put even more plants. I would probably add some tables and chairs with umbrellas so that when the sun is really beaten down, you could still enjoy the outdoor space. But let's go back inside and see the rest. We're gonna go look at the second bedroom. And I had actually thought that this was the master bedroom at first because if you can tell, it's much more spacious. And look at this massive 
gorgeous boveda ceiling. Oh my gosh, how many times can I say boveda in a video? But seriously, how pretty is that? And I'm sure you could get great airflow with both of these windows being open. And then off of this bedroom is the second bathroom. All in all, I really do like this place. It's super spacious and I feel like it has a really overall great flow. It's much more countryside and I think it would be quiet. It's a little farther outside of Ajijic, so I think if I were to buy a place like this, I'd need a car or a bike, get to the carretera and take the bike path down. And finally, I'll come out here and show you what it looks like from the road. I actually do really like this color that they have. It's kind of like a cobalt, deep royal blue or something like that. That's where you can see the, the mirador or the little upstairs terrace and then it kind of wraps around here to this side with lots of great vines on, on the side of that wall. And I don't want to leave out the nitty gritty details. So the lot size is about 3,300 3, square feet and the house itself, the construction is 2,766 2, square feet. This house was actually built last year in 2021 and it does not have any maintenance fees, which is nice, uh, but the yearly, the estimated property taxes are about 80 US dollars. Last but not least, I have this house, the most expensive of all of them that I'm looking at today at 429,000 US dollars. Yes, it might be out of my budget, but I did want to see if I hike up the price point about $100,000 or give or take, uh, what type of house can I get? Like what more is there? So I'm actually standing out here in the back. They've got this gorgeous backyard with lots of plants, a little fountain feature. And this area is called a, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to remember. It's called a lanai. I guess it's called that because it connects to the house. So, and you have access from, here's the master bedroom, the dining room area, and the living room. So let's go right on in and I'll show you what the house looks like. So I am starting at the back of the house, but we come in here from this lanai to a seating area and a fireplace. We've got the bookshelves here and what else but a boveda ceiling. I was told this is a dome boveda ceiling. You also have some other, another area here for lounging, maybe playing a game of cards or something like that. Here is the entryway with a different type of, not called boveda ceiling, this is called a cupola dome. Cupola dome, I've never heard that before, but I think that's very cool. Coming around the corner, we have our first pantry area. And this is very nice and convenient because this door, this comes right in from the two car garage. Yeah, so you can just, you'd be able to come in, put your groceries away here, or come right into the kitchen. Here's another pantry. I kind of love this little nook here. So you've got your wine glasses and more storage in the cabinetry, a giant refrigerator. You don't see this very often in Mexico, but I suppose in a house this big you would. Here is the kitchen. I'm loving the tile combination and the colors. It's unique, but I think it works. Here is the dining area, or perhaps one of, the other one could have been that. And up here, an even more unique style of ceiling. This reminds me of like in a church, you know, something like a quaint little church. And I don't want to forget, over here is the laundry area. Then coming over this way, to the right of the entryway, you have a little den work area coming around this way. And of the two bedrooms, I'll show you first the master bedroom. This is how this is set up. There's actually two ways that you can get out to the patio out there. By the way, this place comes completely furnished and it's got two closets. I don't know if I've ever seen this before in a master bedroom, the two different closets. So you have like his and hers and partitioned. And I was told this is for extra seasonal storage. Another thing I've never seen before in my life. <laughs> But yep, so you've got the second closet over here, tons of space to store all your clothes that your heart desires. Then here's the master bathroom, which is connected. You've got kind of like more of a private area for the toilet, although it is still open and connected to your two sinks here. And a bathtub, which is actually a spa. You can see the spa jets there, that's awesome. And so again, this goes right out to the lanai. I'm just gonna keep using that word lanai because it's the first time I've ever heard it and it's a very fancy sounding word and I wanna sound fancy, so. <laughs> 
Okay, so now we're gonna go through this hallway here to the second bedroom. Well, first we have this bathroom here, which is a Jack and Jill style. So I was told you can lock this door if you want it to just be an ensuite bathroom. Here we have the second bedroom. Voila! I don't actually think the cat is included, but you are adorable. Do you like to be pet? Or are you gonna run away? Meow. Oh, who's a cutie? No, right here, that's a better spot. Okay, enough of this distraction, but oh my gosh, look at those eyes. You're so cute. Okay, anyway, so this is this bedroom, a little bit smaller. It also does have a walk-in closet, which is quite large and with a window up there for natural light. And another thing I was just told, I'm learning so much in this house, this is called a God's Eye Window. Translation from Arabic, if I'm not mistaken. So the house itself is 290 square meters on an almost 550 square meter lot. I am a bit surprised for how large it is that it's only two bedrooms, but that's I think because you're getting all this extra storage, the different closets, um, and then you've got like this den that you can turn into kind of a private office. And of course you've got the big beautiful yard out there and one more feature that I haven't showed you yet. If we walk out the entryway through the garage, past this bodega here and up these stairs, we walk right up to this lovely mirador. On this side, we've got lots of the big beautiful trees in La Floresta, what it's known for and the mountains on this side. Also, something to notice here on the roof are these solar panels, which provide solar power for water and electricity. So almost all of the houses in this area of La Floresta were built in about the 80s, the 70s or 80s. This one was built in 82. And I was told actually that compared to the square footage, the price per square footage of other houses that are being sold in this area, this one is well below what others, I think he said, 1600 US dollars per square foot is the average of what others are going for and this one is down to 1400 square uh 1400 US dollars per square foot. So, even though $429,000 seems like a whole heck of a lot of money to me, you are getting a pretty good bang for your buck and it does come furnished like I said. So, if this was possibly in my budget, it would be nice to know that I could pretty much come in and live here right away. This is kind of the difference though to show the reason that I wanted to go so far outside of my own budget is to see if you had the money to spend, what more could you get? I also do want to mention that of all the houses that I saw today, the annual maintenance fee is by far the highest here at, what is it, 9,200 pesos. However, that does include security and water. So that's a nice feature to be included water. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today as I was house hunting here in Ajijic at Lake Chapala. If you want to see more videos from me and my life here in Mexico, be sure to hit that subscribe button. On the screen here is another video I did where I was apartment hunting in Mexico City. And one more thing before you go. Gong that bell so you get notified the next time I release a new video and I hope to see you there.